Hello. Yes. Hi, Curtis. How are you? This is Ella. Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you so much. First, first, I wanna. Where do I start with you, right? Um, I wanna first thank you. <laughs> I wanna first thank you for your patience. Um, I want to thank you for your patience. I want to thank you for being flexible with me. Um, I want to thank you for for being understanding. You understand because I get <laughs> I get a large amount of requests. And hear me out. Uh -huh. You know what you did. I, you, I understand. I understand. Yeah, but you know what you did. You sent me the payment like a payment like a week or prior, and it's like I can't. <laughs> I can't keep up with all of these payments, and then pe people do that sometimes. Though my clients, they'll pay me a week in a, in advance, and then tell me that they already paid, and it's like, well, where I, where did the transaction? Oh, I paid you last week. Oh, well, thank you for the money, but I didn't see it. But right. <laughs> thank you so you know. I just thank you because not for nothing. Um. Some of my clients, you know, they're they're very agitated or probably not agitated, but they're very like um anxious to just have a session and they'll just like if if I have a client at if I have an appointment at one o'clock, some of my clients will be texting me at like twelve forty five. Are we still on? Are we this? Are we that? You know, calling me and it's like I'm in I'm in quiet mode to prepare, you know. <laughs> but you wasn't like that. You was you is nothing like that, and that's that's just a beautiful thing, and I really want to thank you for that, definitely. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Um, so let's get into our session, my love. Um, Have you ever received a psychic medium reading before, or should I explain to you how I conduct sessions? Yes, sessions? I had one before. Okay. With me or no? No, with somebody else. Yeah, cause you you feel you feel new. Um, sometimes I'm able to to pick up on someone's spirit if they had a session with me. My my spirit would be like, oh, you know this person. But yeah, okay. So let me explain a little bit how I conduct sessions so you can be familiar. As you know, I am a psychic medium, and what I'm gonna begin to do is I'm gonna begin to channel. Um, channeling is basically communicating with your spirit guides. So your spirit guides are going to begin to tell me things about you um, that happened in the past, present, and future. Um, and most of the things that your spirit guides are going to tell me are things that are affecting your spirit. Um, you know, rather it's blocking you or things that will help you, you know, along your spiritual journey or rather along your growth. Um, in any event, and then two, um, after I finish channeling, um, in any event, I do give room for clients to ask any type of, you know, questions if I haven't already answered them. Okay. Okay. Um, so the first thing that's coming up, my love, uh-huh, is the Trinity. So I'm feeling more so of, um, the, uh, in terms of relationship-wise, because I'm seeing the, the Aset, the Asar, and the Child. So I'm feeling like you are going to come into a state of balance or rather you are going to, I don't know if you're in a relationship now, but if you are in a relationship now, seeking balance is the key for you to grow on a spiritual level. And if you're not in a relationship, the person that you should be, how can they say, the person that you should consider is someone that is on your level spiritually because I'm seeing um the I said I'm seeing the Trinity and in order for you you yourself my love to become to have peace and to be balanced within yourself you're gonna have you're gonna need somebody else that is on the same frequency in terms of rather um you know w you know long term goals and in love and relationship what they want to do where they want to live etc cetera, etc cetera. but definitely your alignment or definitely that is that is coming for you um so no worries for that i'm seeing a hippopotamus come out of the water um for you and what they're telling me is spiritual growth spiritual growth so i don't know how long you've been on this journey um but you are definitely and it doesn't even matter about how long you've been on the journey because spirituality is an everlasting journey but you're actually um growing and what they mean by growing they're saying that he he is he is believing in himself now um he is going you know you're going internally now i don't know if it was a situation where um sometimes at times 
you used to doubt yourself or second guess yourself or didn't feel like, you know, you was worthy is what they're saying. But what they're saying is now he's coming out of it and he is now realizing his truth. He is now realizing um, who he is. He is now, you know, accepting you, who you are, Curtis, um, as the God that you are in any event because the hippopotamus and the hippopotamus deals with fertility. So we're dealing with definitely, and it doesn't have to be fertility per se with having children, but um, fertility in terms of abundance. Um, but, uh, an abundance of things will be happening. Rather, it's new endeavors, um, you know, with a job career or just even, uh, again, the, the spiritual growth. Um, the spiritual growth thing is definitely um, resonating very uh, strongly with you. So keep that up. And then, too, I'm seeing writing. Um, and being creative, so I don't know if you deal with music or you deal with any type of poetry or you just deal with, um, you know, keeping a, a, a diary or anything of that nature, anything with expression, um, is, they're saying that will help you as well to tap into the cosmos or tap into the cosmic messages um, is, what you, is what they're saying, tapping into the cosmic messages. Give me a second. We're tapping into your past life, my love. Um, what's happening to your past life? Give me a second because they're telling me, okay, you know, you were a messenger. Okay. Um, you were a messenger. You were somebody, and this is what I'm seeing you. And it could be, um, in like Nubia or, um, you know, East, like Eastern Africa in any event, because I'm seeing you, you know, like, um, yeah, damn, it's not an apron, but it's like a scrub. No, a, um, you know, like some ancient Egyptians where they they didn't have they didn't have a top, but they just had the bottom like a skirt. You know what yep. I'm talking about? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. So as a young child, uh huh, as a young child, this is what your spirit guides are showing me that you were someone that okay, say for example, a king or a queen wanted to write a letter. You like the post office. You delivered messages okay. from one. Um, from one uh, kingdom to a next kingdom, and they honored you in that in that uh, in that way. So in any event, and and again, it is dealing with writing and expression. So and I feel like and I feel like you were the person that also was reading, um, reading messages to them because they like you know they're like oh well what's the message what's the message and they, you'll tell them like the message is blah 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 X Y Z. But it was some real spiritual. It was some real spiritual stuff. It was some real spiritual and ritualistic things that were being delivered um, from one kingdom to another kingdom. So that's a beautiful thing. I'm not sure if you you're into the arts of writing or expression in any event. But for your own, um, my love, for your own sake, um, for you to tap into the the old DNA or the cosmic DNA. Um, you want to begin to um, to write at night too, um, is what they're saying. I'm also seeing I'm also seeing you uh, 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 stargaze. Where you live at, my love? I live in Minnesota, in Saint Paul. And where? Saint Paul, Minnesota. Saint Croix, you said? No, Saint Paul. I was about Minnesota. to say you. I'm I'm calling Saint Croix. I'm hanging up. What? <laughs> Let me call you on WhatsApp. What? Shoo. What? No, cause no, I, I no, cause I I be getting got like that sometimes. I call international and I'm 15 minutes in channeling and they like, yeah, I'm from the islands. I'm like, what? Let me call you back real quick. You oh you seen it right? Oh no, you scared me. No, you scared me. Stop. No, you scared me. Um, but okay, so <laughs> um, what I was gonna say to you? So uh, are there lots of stars? Cause I'm seeing I'm seeing a star system. Oh, that might be the Sirius B. Um, uh, that might be that Os that Osiris I set. Um, and, and child energy, um, that I'm picking up. You want to definitely, um, tap into the Dogon energy. You know Bobby Hammett? You're familiar. You know Bobby Hammett. You know Bobby Hammett, right? Bobby, Bobby who? Hammett, Hammett, Bobby Hammett. Oh, no. You're not familiar with Bobby Hammett? No. Okay, well, you want to Google him. Um, he's someone, he's a metaphysical and spiritual, uh, teacher that I grew up on. Um, but he speaks about the Dogon um, tribe, and 
I feel like you have a connection to the Dogon tribe um, because I'm seeing you stargazing or I'm seeing what your spirit guides are saying. He has a connection to um, these different galaxies. So in any event, and the reason why they're telling me this, it's only for you to, 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 to dig deeper into, into where you come from um, in any event, or rather the different galaxies or the DNA coding inside of you. Um, once you begin to tap into the Dogon, which is one part of you, um, things will begin to unlock. And I would recommend that you start with um, Bobby Hemming. I'm surprised. You don't know Panic? Do you know Brother Panic? Um, so you, you're a new age person then, it must be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay, well, yeah, go to, go to Bobby, <laughs> go back, go back a little bit, go, just take it back a little bit, you will be blown away, um, in any event, okay. you will definitely be blown away. Um, I'm seeing, um, ah, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing a, a woman come to me and she's giving you one flower. You know when they say you love me, you love me not. Um, I'm giving, I'm, yeah. she's giving me one flower. Um, so I'm feeling. Give me a second. Let me hear what your spirit guides are saying. Serenity, um, serenity and peace. You gotta for, before you move forward. Let me let me tell you something. I'm gonna allow you to express yourself. But before you move, before you move forward, um, you wanna ask yourself what it is that you want in life, right? Um, don't walk a path with no direction, um, is what they're saying. Tell him to figure out what is it that you want in life and whatever it is that your heart desire and whatever it is that you want in life, you go for it. Go do what it, you know, don't, don't feel like you are, um, held back by anything because to the extent that you feel like you held by, held back. Um, it's to the extent that the universe is going to respond to you holding back and then you will be stuck. And I'm feeling like this is something in the near future when you want to conquer, um, rather it's conquering um, a new business, um, you know, uh, plan or rather even with relationships. So business and relationships is definitely coming up in terms of you um, not, you know, you, you know, being a little uneasy. There you go. You being a little right. bit uneasy with things. Um, so don't feel, don't, they're saying, listen, tell him to stop it. I'm seeing the number seven with you. So we definitely dealing with the Christ, um, energy with you. We're definitely dealing with alignment of your, of the different chakras, um, opening up of the pineal gland, um, which is again, uh, symbolic to the hippopotamus that I seen come out of the water, um, in any event. So we're definitely, um, dealing with maturing, um, maturity is what they're saying as well. When is your birthday, my love? May 29th, 85. Oh, 2 and 9. Okay, May 29th. So you're the Gemini, right? Um, the physical realm yeah. and the spiritual realm. Okay, great. So 29, we're dealing with the number 11, with the, which is another Christ number, which is the first master number. So in any event, and that's a number of transition, and that's perhaps why they... And then if you said, and you said May 29th, right? Yeah. May. Um, so five, so five, okay, five and 11, that's six. Um, is that 16, correct? Yeah. And that's the number seven. Um, because one plus six, one plus six is seven. Remember, I, I mentioned that to you. Um, in, in any event, so definitely the number seven holistically, um, is what you what you resonate so that's the prophet oh and that's and, oh okay okay and that's where the um oh okay and that's where the 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 vibration of you expressing yourself and the vibration of you being that 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 young boy that that delivered the messages from one kingdom to another kingdom that spiritual aspect of you there did that goes and remember when i said in order for you to tap into the cosmos um writing is something so the 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 the, the cosmos is the spiritual you um that you want to get into and then the physical you is the writing out what what it is that you already know that resides deep inside of you um in any okay. event so so definitely, are you are you a poet? What 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 do you what is your skills? Music. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, you you're, you're beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead, do what you need to do. 
definitely do what you need to do because poetry, music, writing, whatever, you know, write your own songs, as I, as I mentioned to you. Um, that's good. That's definitely good. Um, that's definitely good. Let me, let me, do you have any questions, my love? Oh, you pretty much answered everything that I was thinking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, okay, well, um, just give it a little bit of time. Um, see perhaps if anything else um comes up. But again, you know, don't don't be shy or whatever. Not even shy, but but believe in yourself more so or just know that you came back to serve a purpose. Um, is what they're saying. I want you to be more so on like a metaphysical um, you know, uh, preacher, or not even preacher, but Messiah, there you go, the Messiah, the messenger, yeah, the messenger, you, you, you deliver a message through music, right, um, but, but spiritually, um, but spiritually will, will, will bring you a long way, rather you get signed or not, um, your, your, your gift, um, is to just deliver the words, but in order for you to deliver the words, you have to be divine and complete within yourself, Right? Makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you sure you don't have any other questions? I'm, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. You sure? Okay. Well, my love, do you want me to, um, publish this publicly or you want it private? You can publish it publicly. Okay. All right. So, I'll definitely, um, post this up, um, as soon as I get a chance. Say that again? No, I I said not that. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right. And again, my love, thank you so much for being so patient. Um, you know, being so (laughs) flex. No, seriously, it 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 it. it, (laughs) People see me on the screen and they think it's like it's easy, but no, I'm I'm the boss and the worker. You know, and I get a lot of people that request for readings and. If you pay me a week and a head or even two weeks and a head, that done went over my head. So thank you so much. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much. And I thank you for your support. You're welcome. Yes, and keep thank you for watching me as well. You're welcome. Okay. Have a great day, my love. You too. Okay, bye-bye.